Hello, Bob here with CanDoTechnologies.com with a video on porting from Magic Jack to Google Voice. I realize there are other YouTube videos on how to do this and I followed the instructions and I was ultimately successful. However, getting there was quite an ordeal. My experience is coming up. So this all started a couple of years ago when I found out that I could subscribe to a Verizon service called Verizon Home Wireless. Verizon Home Wireless is you attach your regular dial phones to a wireless device and you can subscribe to the service for about $20 a month. At the time, I was paying about $60 a month with CenturyLink. So being able to use my existing phones on the Verizon wireless network sounded like it was going to be a pretty good idea. So I go to the store, I buy the device, ask the store to port my CenturyLink number to Verizon Home Wireless, and they go through the process. It looked like they were having problems but they says, okay, you're good to go, give it a couple days, and your number will be ported. A couple days later, I found out that my number could not be ported. The Verizon store had lied to me. It turns out that in some cases, the government will not allow porting of telephone numbers for anti-monopoly reasons. It seems that Verizon had taken over too many CenturyLink numbers in the exchange and they were not allowed to take any more numbers over. So I couldn't port my CenturyLink number over to Verizon. I had this number for 30 years. Everybody knows this number my account numbers use this number. The businesses I do business with use this number. My rewards points for the grocery stores and the hardware stores and everywhere else use this number. Changing my number would be a pain. Then I had an idea. What if I ported my CenturyLink number to Magic Jack? I paid the fee and several days later, the number ported without any difficulties at all. Terrific. Well, Magic Jack has some limitations. Magic Jack tells you you could have unlimited calling. That's not true. There's a finite number of calls you could make per day. And you can't chat on the phone all day long either. Because after an hour or two hours, Magic Jack will hang up on you. But these were limitations I could live with, and it worked fine for a couple years. As a matter of fact, I even forwarded my Magic Jack number to my new CenturyLink number so I could still answer the phone on my CenturyLink phone, Home Wireless, for all the numbers that were on my old number. But it did the job. Then I got the idea. Magic Jack charges $35 a year. Google Voice is free. So what if I ported my Magic Jack number to my Google Voice number? The YouTube video says that you can only port a mobile number to Google Voice can't port a landline, you can't port a voice over IP number, and that's correct. So the trick is, is to 
purchase a no contract phone port your number to the no contract phone and then once that gets ported over port your no contract phone over to Google Voice so on Thanksgiving Day of 2017 I saw a track phone you could buy for $10. That's perfect. I went to the store, I bought the track phone. I went to activate it when I got home. And it says, your number wasn't activated at the store. You can't activate this number. Well, the receipt said that it would be good within three hours. It was a lot more than three hours. The track phone tech support says, take it back to the store. So I took it back to the store. They told me, we activated it. We can't activate it again, but you can exchange the phone. So I exchanged the phone, brought it back, and Activated and then activated fine. So now I'm going to port my number. No, you can't port it to this phone. You need to change the SIM card. We'll mail you one. You'll get it in a few days. Five days later, the SIM card comes in. I put it in my phone. Call track phone. and ask track home to port my number. When I started the process, they immediately deactivated the phone. And not too much later, they call back and says, Magic Jack refused the request. You have to call Magic Jack. Well, going back between Magic Jack tech support and track phone tech support, I finally determined one of two things might have happened. Number one, the Magic Jack password in order to port it needs to be a numeric password. You can't have an alphanumeric password. And the address that was registered for Magic Jack was slightly incorrect. So I changed my password to numeric password. And I changed my address and asked TrackPhone to port the number again. And they called back a little bit later saying, no, you still can't port the number. There's still an error. You need to call Magic Jack. Well, going back and forth between tech support, I finally determined that there was an existing port request that was open. TrackPhone says, are you trying to... Tra this number to somebody else? No, you're the only ones. So after very long calls, I finally determined that the original port request was still open. Crackphone says the request was refused. Magic Jack says no, it was accepted but TrackPhone never processed the request once we accepted it. TrackPhone will need to cancel the request. Well, TrackPhone says, we did cancel it. Magic Jack says, they didn't cancel it. Magic Jack says, call TrackPhone. TrackPhone says, call Magic Jack. And then TrackPhone tries it over and over and over again. They try the report request about nine times. Even when every time I call tech support, they would try again. And I tell them, don't try to port the number. It won't work. And they try to port the number. Every time they port the number, it immediately gets an error. But it takes two days to cancel the request. Well, after all this time, about a month has gone by, my minutes with track phone expires, it automatically renews. 
Luckily, I was able to convince Magic Jack to add another month on to my annual subscription because that was about ready to expire as well. So I get Magic Jack and TrackPhone on a conference call. Magic Jack says, you need to cancel the request in Cineverse. I'm going to give you my email. Contact me and I will give you the details. TrackPhone says, okay, we'll do that. It will take 24 to 48 hours to hear back. 48 hours later, I call TrackPhone. TrackPhone says, did you contact Magic Jack? TrackPhone says, the request has been canceled. No, it hasn't been canceled. Have you contacted Magic Jack? TrackPhone says, the request has been canceled. I tell TrackPhone, you need to contact Magic Jack. We provided the information. Can you please contact Magic Jack? TrackPhone says, well, we'll try again. It'll take 24 to 48 hours to hear back. So this happens over and over and over again. Did you email Magic Jack? No, the request has been canceled. You need to contact Magic Jack. Well, it'll take 24 to 48 hours. This happened multiple times. And now, my second month of minutes with TrackPhone are almost ready to expire again. The supervisor at TrackPhone could hear the frustration in my voice when I tell him I'm not going to wait another 48 hours to only to hear back that you haven't contacted Magic Jack. Supervisor says, we will escalate it to corporate. It'll take 24 to 48 hours to hear back. 48 hours later, I call. Have you contacted corporate? Well, we did, but we haven't heard back. Wait another 24 hours. 24 hours later. TrackPhone resubmitted the request. And this time, the request is finally going through. They accept through the request. It was accepted. I call TrackPhone. Request is accepted. Now you need to process it. TrackPhone tells me, you need to wait 24 to 48 hours. So 48 hours later, I finally get a call from TrackPhone. He says, we got some good news for you and we got some bad news for you. The good news is your number ported. Bad news is we're going to need to send you another SIM card, but we'll overnight it. So I received the SIM card, put the SIM card in. The phone was active with my Magic Jack number, and I was finally able to port my number to Google Voice. When I was in the process of porting the number to Google Voice, Google Voice said, are you sure you want to port your number from T-Mobile? TrackPhone is a reseller of T-Mobile. So I said yes. In less than 24 hours later, my number was finally ported from Magic Jack to Track Phone to Google Voice. The process took more than two months. I finally got there after countless hours on the telephone talking to tech support. Magic Jack to support crack phone, hearing crack phone tell me to contact Magic Jack, Magic Jack telling me to contact crack phone. I contacted the FCC, but by the time I contacted the FCC, crack phone was finally working to resolve the problem. 
The takeaways from this are make sure you use a numeric password with Magic Jack. Make sure your address is correct. Track phone says the number is canceled. Magic Jack says it's not canceled. Give it about 30 days. After 30 days of the initial port request, Magic Jack says it should cancel within 30 days, but do not resubmit the request. Had I resubmitted the request after 30 days, it probably would have gone through. So if you get in a situation where one company says the number was not canceled and the other company says it was canceled, you can't port the number because it's still an active port request, give it 30 days and then try it again. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. Good luck with your porting.